Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage and welcome back to my playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we kind of just finished um, with the battle at Shambhala. Rhea did some badassery, honestly, and here we are. It's been just as long, it's been a hot minute. This is a new recording session for me, so new everything for me as far as that is concerned. Oh my god, this, I have this like really long like headphone wire that's supposed to be like bendy and curly and so it doesn't get tangled but all it does is get tangled actually and it's like starting to wear it. it's yeah that's a whole separate issue anyways let's just jump right back into this tomfoolery take her to a room now goddess please save lady Rhea. all we can do now is pray Remember when this place was taken five years ago and a pure white beast appeared on the battlefield? I only caught a glimpse of it, but I didn't understand where it came from. There were rumors that the goddess sent it to protect the monastery. But now I know better. That beast was Rhea. Did you know Rhea's true identity? I once showed you a picture of a creature known as the Immaculate One. Sedith confiscated it, saying it must have been one of Tomas's personal possessions. The beast that appeared back then looked just like it. So Rhea is the Immaculate One. The book said that it was a servant of the Goddess, but wouldn't it make sense if beasts like that are actually children of the Goddess? Rhea is in a grim state right now. It's possible she may not make it, but we have things we must ask her about. Once things calm down a little, let's go and see Rhea. Together, the truth can't be delayed any longer. <coughs> okay, I actually never thought of that, and that makes a shit ton of sense. So what Claude just said is that, like, the people that turn into the dragons could possibly be the children of the goddess and that makes a lot of sense as far as like if you played older fire emblem games the maniche or whatever i always want to call them manicotti but that's an italian dish maniche or i think no that's a pokemon anyways they turned into dragons that was a thing <laughs> that was a staple in the fire emblem series and here we are with more of them that's all i'm trying to say Part 2. Verdant Wind. Verdant Rain Moon. Fodlan's New Dawn. With the destruction of Shambhala, the ambitions of those who slither in the dark are forever shattered. However, Rhea has suffered grievous injuries in the process. Yet, certain mysteries remain unsolved. So Claude and the others approach Rhea, who is now confined to her room due to her wounds. I definitely don't feel like those who slither in the dark are completely shattered. I don't feel like that's true at all. Because where were those other like light javelins coming at us from? Like that could not have been all of them, right? I am confused. I have confusion, friends. I am happy to see you too. Sorry to interrupt your rest. But there are some things that we absolutely must ask you. It seems I do not have much time left. I do not intend to hide anything any longer. Rhea, I have to ask. You're the Immaculate One, aren't you? If what I'm thinking is correct, that's what the Children of the Goddess is referring to. In other words, you... I am the last child of the Progenitor God. A long time ago, the Progenitor God came from somewhere far away and descended upon this continent. She changed her form to resemble that of a human and gave her own blood to birth her children. The progenitor god and her children shared knowledge and skills with the people of the land. Together, they built a prosperous civilization. 
But the humans turned their backs on the teachings of the Progenitor God and engaged in senseless wars. Eventually, people began to think of themselves as gods and challenged the Progenitor God herself to battle. The land was scorched in the war that ensued, and the majority of humans were annihilated. I believe that those who slither in the dark are the descendants of those who retreated beneath the ground during that time. So they've been waiting all that time for their chance at revenge. It took the Progenitor God an astonishing amount of time to revive the ravaged world. But eventually, the continent found peace again. And the Progenitor God, having fulfilled her duty, fell into a long slumber in the Holy Tomb. The children who stayed behind built a settlement in Sanado to protect the Holy Tomb as they quietly lived out their lives. But then, Nemesis appeared, bringing tragedy along with him. Even now, I cannot forget the sight of that massive canyon painted red with blood. I was never able to forgive those who proudly wielded weapons crafted from the corpses of my brethren. I was the only survivor of Sanado, and all I could do was wander across Fodlan, clinging to my desperate desire for revenge. I called myself Seros, fostered the founding of the Empire, and prepared to oppose Nemesis and his followers. Unbelievable. I put Sanado behind me to gather the remaining children who were scattered across Vodlin. Finally, we killed Nemesis on the Tail Team Plains, and I took back the Sword of the Creator. Let me get this straight. Saint Seros is you? You're kidding me, right? Professor, Claude, there's something you need to hear right away. If you have something to report, do so at once. There is no need to let my presence worry you. As you wish. We're receiving a constant stream of express messengers from cities to the east. They claim that an unidentified military force is attacking, and that there have already been a large number of casualties. What? The reports indicate that the cities and towns along the East Grander Thoroughfare, in the Old Hrim territory, have already been destroyed. Some villages were razed completely, leaving no survivors. Damn it! Did they come from Shambhala? Could it be that there were some remnants of that wicked group hiding there? I have a report. The unidentified military force has crossed the Great Bridge of Murden. Alliance forces met them in battle, but it seems they have already broken through. They've already made it so far. Is Count Gloucester unharmed? The Count is fine, but apparently my brother joined with reinforcements and was gravely injured. Do you mean to tell me they easily got past a general as skilled as Holst? They say the enemy general has a weapon that resembles the sword of the creator. Even my brother was powerless to stop him. That's not possible. The enemy forces are flying a banner bearing the crest of flames as they continue their march west along the Aramid River. <sighs> We believe they're marching toward Garrig Mach. We are preparing to meet them in battle. A weapon that resembles the Sword of the Creator and banner bearing the Crest of Flames. There is only one explanation. The one leading the enemy force is Nemesis himself. Nemesis? That Nemesis? Do you really think the ancient King of Liberation has been brought back to life? Perhaps the seal was broken when Shambhala fell. An incredible power that we children cannot hope to match dwells within the blood of the Progenitor God. Nemesis obtained that blood, so it would not surprise me if that were the case. The blood of the Progenitor God? That's right. He did take the remains from the Holy Tomb, didn't he? From the blood of the Progenitor God, Sothis, he acquired the Crest of Flames. From her bones and heart, he crafted the Sword of the Creator. The Sword of the Creator is made from her bones and heart? The heart of Sothis is the crest stone that was placed in the Sword of the Creator. The same is true of the crests of the Ten Elites and the other crest stones. 
They were born of the blood and hearts of the progenitor god's children. Those who slither in the dark created them, stole them. So this never gifted that power to the humans. The crests of the ten elites, the crest stones, and the hero's relics. I can't believe those who slither in the dark made them all. And after that, Nemesis used the sword of the creator to massacre all of the progenitor god's children in Xanadu. In other words, the citizens of Xanadu were killed by weapons made from the remains of their brethren. How atrocious. But I don't get it. The sword of the creator that Teach wields doesn't have a crest stone. So how is Teach able to wield its full power? The crest stone of the progenitor god dwells within your professor. <gasps> After I battled with Nemesis as Saint Seros, I reclaimed the heart of Sothis. I wanted to use that heart to... to resurrect her. Even though I had to do some questionable things to achieve that goal, I wished to see Sothis, my mother, once more. So she put her heart in me. <gasps> that makes so much sense. Yes. I believed that if I could resurrect my mother. That's why she was so weird with us. It had been lost. So, that's the truth of it. I suspected that your body housed the consciousness of Sothis. Those suspicions were correct. And yet, she merely gave you her power and vanished. My dearest wish did not come true. But you did inherit the power of the progenitor god. Now, you must use that power to defeat Nemesis once and for all. Fodlin's blood-stained history must end. Wow. Wow. That was just a bomb that they dropped on our heads. Oh, I'm so glad that that part was blind for me because honestly, whoo hoo, that is spicy. That's spicy tea, guys. Okay, okay, hold on. First things first, <laughs> I'm a realist. Do we have stuff in the convoy that I can sell? People, I need money. <laughs> Do Does somebody have something I can sell? Oh. Oh, this is going to be an issue. <laughs> oh, we're having an issue. We're poor. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. Let's just. Uh, all right. These are things that are sellable. The steel sword. Who's ever going to use that? No one. Give me the money. I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. This one, sell it. It's fine. Training swords? No way. We're not doing that. Uh-uh. Mm, cursed Aisha sword? I'm never going to use that. Sell it. Rusted swords uh, for my own sanity. Get them out of here. Same with that one. What? Can there only five be in a pile? That kind of makes sense, actually. Um, nobody's ever going to use those steel lances. Or that one. Silver lances I might use. I might even repair and use, yeah. Honestly, I would. Crescent Sickle. Hmm. That thing's actually pretty good. Why am I not using it? <laughs> Maybe I'll have to go fix that soon. Sell this. Nobody's ever going to use that again. Or this. Or this. Alright. Oh my god. Six of those. Jesus Christ. Get them out of here. Disgusting. What else? Nobody's ever going to use those. I don't know who did use that one. Um, mini bows, honestly, I'm not going to use anymore. The blessed bow, nah. Don't need it. Sell them all. Let's see. Mm. Ooh, it. So that, okay, these are things I should probably give to people, so we'll hold on to that thought. All of these things I could sell if I wanted.
if I was really desperate. I think we have enough money for what I really wanted right now. And the reason I'm poor... Ugh. Ugh. Fine. Fine. We'll explore today, because I have to explore for what I want to do. But the reason I'm freaking poor is because of stupid Raphael to begin with. Which is annoying. Hopefully he can pass his dumb test this week. I mean, next week or whatever. Oh, soon. Hopefully he can pass his test soon. Sometime in this lifetime. Are you not the one? Who has the master seal? Anna, do you? I'm, I'm clearly distraught about this. Thank you. Yes, give me that. Thanks. All right, that's all I needed from you. But while we're here, let's go ahead and, you know, do the growing. Yes, give me what we heart did before. A golden apple, that's probably useful. Let's just only vegetables. Because, listen, we know that food is an issue for me, okay? Cultivate. Put the poop on it. I don't give a shit. I'm poor and I'm happy. Let's go to the dining hall. <laughs> oh. Hello. What is the special? Actually, everybody's pretty dang motivated. So maybe this wasn't the best decision for today, but I needed to get that Master Seal to try to get Raphael to finally turn into a freaking great knight. Because he just refuses to do it. I've been searching for an ideal wife with whom to start a family for years. How long have I wait? How long must have I waited? Um, yeah. After the war, worry about that, Lawrence. Oh, he liked that response. Interesting. I thought he would hate it, but that's fine. Um, sure. Singing in the choir is great for you and great for you. Sing about it. Please. Bust it out. Because you are officially a Dark Knight, right, Lawrence? So you can use magic now? Hopefully. Now let's go. I feel like I have not gotten enough renown for these in a while. Hello? I still only have 16. Fuck you. How are you ever supposed to get 6,000? Are you just supposed to go for one statue? And not spread it out like I did. Hmm. These are thoughts for another time. Uh, the sword tournament again. Listen, we don't do that great on this. Full T. I'm not going to do it. Because we always lose. In fact, is there anything else I want to do with this exploring day? No. I mean, I could go just, like, raise Savage via other people's teachings, but, like, no thanks. <laughs> no thank you. Alright, first and foremost, training, instruct, Raphael, you stupid guy. Let's keep raising horse. Yes, get perfect. This is the only thing stopping you from getting Great Knight, even though you have, like, a 70-something percent chance. You still don't manage to do it, so just keep training. Um, Ignatz, you're really doing okay on those things. I do want Lysithia to start working on her horsemanship as well. More and more and more. Yay, Lysithia, good job. Another perfect. Marianne, how's your horsemanship coming? Actually pretty decent. She's almost A. She, I mean, she's going to have to be A to even have a chance because she doesn't know any spear. And she's not about to learn any spear. <laughs> Let's be real here. Um... Poor Hilda, I guess, is stuck on a freaking wyvern forever. Even though I want to turn her into something that can punch as well. What was it before? I might switch her back to whatever it was. Just because we're far enough that it's fine. Um, You, yes, because we want to make you a mortal savant one day. So we'll keep working on that. Um, Lawrence... Keep working on this, please. You could be a very useful Dark Knight, maybe one day. This should nice. Good job. Continue. One more. We'll give that to our boy Claude. Because he still needs to work on his flying as well. Let's be real. He hasn't been doing the best with that. Oh, well. Okay. Begin training. Hey. 
What's up, Claude? I've been thinking it would be nice to throw a big fest for everybody, but we're lacking in surplus supplies. Do you have any recommendations as a cheap, tasty food? Catch some fish in the river. Oh, well, I thought that was a good answer, but apparently Claude thought I was a dumb bitch for saying that, so it's fine. It's whatever. It's cool, Claude. I get it. So apparently we're going to go fight Nemesis himself. I don't even... I don't know how to feel about that. With you on my side, dear goddess. Wow, so now that I have the knowledge that we have, like going through other playthroughs is going to be very interesting. Because like hello, that's interesting. All that stuff that I mean that's crazy what Rhea just said to us. All right. Raphael, I'm sick and tired of doing this dance with you. 71% time five or something. Yes, finally. God, look at you. Good job, Raphael. You are a great knight. That is wonderful. Now, I do actually want to reclass Hilda to what was it? The warrior. We liked that. Because then she can punch too. And that's like, she can do a shit ton of damage with that. As we saw earlier. She was going crazy. What's the auxiliary battle reward? Meat, gold, or None of that seems worth it to me. I'm probably going to end up resting tonight. But I still want to get like items and stuff situated. So like you have a door key right now. You don't necessarily need that. But we definitely... Throw this out and grab this other one. You, oh, the fail mount. We'll see if we can repair that tonight. I don't know if we can or not. Let's get you a silver axe, sir. You deserve that. And then more than a, yeah. You could take a brave. Well, no. Let's let homeboy take that. Ooh, a silver bow plus. Let's let you take that, and then, I don't know. A brave bow, I guess? Your brave lance needs repairing. Is there anything else I want you to have, sir? Like this crested sickle? You could use that. Seems pretty fitting for his class, too. For the most part, it just seems like I need to go to the blacksmith, and if I can't get stuff from the blacksmith, yikes! We're going to be hurting. You can go ahead and put that up and this up. Because I have this and I have... Oh, he took the other brave bow. Because I'm going to give you the magic bow. That's right. Um, You don't need that. But maybe you guys should have stuff that... We might need. Like an extra concoction. Like a concoction at least. A door key. I mean, that could be useful. You know? Alright. Um, hold up. Hold the freaking phone. You, my lady, deserve this Silver Axe Plus, and then you also deserve, because we can use it again, our Silver Gauntlets. So she's chilling. You need to go to the freaking thing. Ah, you're okay. And you're okay. And you have the sword of Zoltan, which we don't necessarily need. All right, where's Raphael again? Instead of this concoction, dude, you should absolutely have one of the elixirs. You're big enough. You're a big enough dude. You should take it. All right. Um. So we're obviously, very obviously... Going to the blacksmith and trying to repair some shit. Um, first off, the fail knot. Can I? I need umbral steel, and I don't know where to get that from. That sucks, Claude. Your brave lance. Do I have enough for that? Takes wood steel, and I don't have enough. Raphael, your silver axe. I should have enough, right? Yes. Now enough money is going to be a whole nother story. Actually, let's just go sell stuff now because I know I'm going to need to. 
Alright, we're doing the selling game again, guys. Get through everybody's regular stuff. These iron swords nobody's gonna use again. Let's be real. None of them. They can quit clogging my inventory and make me a little bit of money. Eventually, it'll all be enough for something. Devil sword, I'm not gonna use that. Sword of Zoltan I might use. Because that sounds pretty good. Um, all these iron lances, same story. We're not going to use that. Sell them, make a dollar. I think we've needed to do this for a minute. And we just haven't because, well, I've had bullions and stuff to get me by, but that's not the tea anymore. The sand axe, probably not. I'll keep one of them. That second hammer, probably not. Iron axe plus, probably not. Training axe plus, I don't know where that came from, but probably not. All these extra rusted bows, for sure not. I have iron gauntlets out the wazoo. Nobody's ever going to use any of these. The only one that uses shit is Hilda. In this department. So, like, all of that can go. She can just keep her silver. These steel shields? We have so many. It's fine. That's $2,000 right there. This is another $2,000. Okay. I made my point. Back to repairing. <laughs> you, my lady, you're okay. You, though, you need lots of stuff. You need this. Killer Lance, can I do that? I sure can. Any killer equipment, I have plenty of stuff. That's actually good to know. Who else has killer equipment that needs healing? No, Savage got a new one. Eh, your killer bow's okay. Okay. And then I also want to go to the armory for... I don't know, what do you guys got? Do I need any of these things? Do you have anything special for me? Not really, honestly. They're, they're fine. Um, the item shop, same story. I just want to check it out. Yeah, they're out of Master Seals. What a freaking shock. Let's arrange our shields, because all of this is really going to matter. Raphael, you never use the Bolt Axe. Let's not pretend that you use the Bolt Axe, and let's give you the Catamo shield. Well, huh? May half damage taken if the wearer also bears the Crest of Faldarius. Who has the Crest of Faldarius? I don't remember people's crests like that. Where does it show their crests? Oh. It shows their... The, like, actual crest, but I don't know what it means. Is that for real? You aren't going to tell me their crest name? Interest, status, likes, and dislikes, but you can't tell me their freaking crest name? Oh, okay. Reagan... Gloucester. He doesn't have a crest. He doesn't have a crest. I guess I never noticed that. Charon, Gloucester, the Beast, Gonril, Fraldarius. Felix. Felix. <laughs> Instead of that little silver shield, sir, you are getting the Aegis shield from Savage. Because he doesn't have the crest of Faldar Faldarius or whatever. That's just not the T. I don't think I read that before when I took that. I just like thought it was like, ooh, that's the best. Take it for Savage. It's also Savage, you can take the Sword of Zoltan. <laughs> not that I'm doing the same thing I just said, but you can take it. Protect and Resilience. That's nice. Lampos is for Cavalry. Critical could be nice for him. Actually, yeah, give him the Critical Ring. You, instead of the Hexlock Shield, even though that's nice, I'm going to give you the Lampos. Let's see. Claude, you have the Goddess Ring. That's okay. Critical Ring, that makes sense. Can you guys have shields? I don't know. Let's try it. Give them Hexlocks if they can. You have the Evasion Ring. I'm okay with that. You have an Evasion Ring. I'm okay with that. You have the Aegis Shield. Let's go ahead and throw that Knowledge Gem so you use the Aegis Shield. I think we're okay. Let's give you a shield just in case you can use it too. I don't know if they can or not, but... 
Well, what else could she have? The speed ring? Sure, take that instead. Whatever's clever here. And I do think I'm going to rest for this night. It'll give us some motivation, but it also charges the Sublime Creator Sword. Because I feel like we're going to need that in the next battle, probably. Instruct manually, sure. <laughs> there shall be lots of teaching. Now, Claude, you're so close to S. Just get that S rank. Boy, hell yeah. You're a monster. Bow crit plus 10. That's amazing. And we'll keep working on this for you because you're a flying unit through and through at this point. See, Raphael. Let's just keep working on that horse. I still think that'll benefit you. Um, Ignatz. Ignatz, let's keep working on sword until you're S rank. Not that it really matters, but we can do it. Leone, Leone, not that you need to work on much, but let's get you to the A rank on this at least. Nice, nice, nice. Dang, she's just perfect all over. She's awesome. I mean, we'd be knowing that though. Sedith, I really don't give a fuck about you, Sedith. But if I did, I guess I would tell you to get more flying. That's right. Let's nice. And then Flame, my dear. You still don't have A plus on black? We're getting there today. Nice. Good job. Now maybe she'll learn something really cool at S. Who knows? It's a long road till then. Hilda, girl, since it's been so long, keep working on your fisticuffs. It's been a hot minute. Aw, oh, you did bad. It's been forever. Don't even worry. All right, that's all of them. Begin our training. The huge. I came up, so I don't know if next chapter is the last chapter or not. That's actually going to be interesting to know. Because I have no clue. But it seems like we're going to go fight Nemesis himself. Unless that's a multi-chapter endeavor within itself. Which I could definitely see that being the team. Anybody learn anything? Nope. Oh well. Today there's some fishing phenomenon going on. Not that I care. I'm probably deadass though. Gonna explore anyway just for the food. Literally let's just do it to get everybody's motivation up. I mean... At this point, what's what's the point other than that? That's the most important thing we can do. Lit. That's this. Boom. And we'll just bust through it real quick. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode today just because I want to kind of bust through things and get to a point where I can set up the next, like just have the introduction to the next chapter in the next episode, if that makes sense. So it might be a little longer than usual. But it's fine. It won't be too long. I like the Lit. Alright, full menu again. Let's just do Leone and Felix. Wonderful news. Alright, everybody's motivation is all the way up. I'm all the way up. Full menu. Hmm. Flane and who else? Oh, you guys hate it. Can you guys tolerate this? Nope, you guys hate that too. Love that for us. I guess you're not getting motivation. Just kidding. I'm going to go to the greenhouse. Can you give me my shit already? Yes, she can. Nice. Hopefully that was some good stuff. Let's do some all root vegetables. And I want a lot of them. So many, please. Just have the Pegasus shit all over. And, okay. Did that give me enough supplies to cook some more things? Nope. That's cool. Well, let's do this, too, with Claude. Um, the plus speed seems huge. See, it's from fishing. Good thing I did all of that before. I kind of need to do more fishing, but I don't want to. Teehee. Nice. Lit. Everybody has plus one speed. Let's also... 
Just go down here to the marketplace. And let's see Anne. Hello. Welcome. I want another one of these, lady. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Come back soon. I also need like food or something. Welcome. Do you sell food, sir? Poultry? Do I have any? You have a good eye. I need to Unless eat. Doing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild game, Come whatever. Again. Hopefully that works for the dining hall. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here, people. Oh yeah, that gave us lots of stuff. There you go. It looks like Hilda's gonna be out of motivation on this day, which it happens. This is nice. Alright, so we'll end this one. Oh, and we're gonna have a birthday. Wow. Alright, instruct away. Starting with the girls, of course. We're working on the writing still. You need to know how to ride a horse. Actually, Marianne, you have a pretty good shot at doing it. We'll have to try to see if the Master Seal can go on you or Lysithia next um, day. Leone, keep working on that sword life. You're getting there. Yeah, you're doing good. Don't even worry about it. Nope. Nice. Leonie's a bad bitch. I mean, honestly. Nope. Look at that. That was insane. Felix, keep working on this, sir. Nice. You're getting there. Because he's useful in battles now, so. Um, Raphael. Raphael. Let's get this moving. Lawrence, I still want you to learn something more with that, maybe. I don't know if that's a possibility for you or not. And I don't even know if it would be worth it, but still. It's worth a shot. And one more for Claude. Yeah, Claude, buddy, keep going. You're doing great. Heck yeah. Good job. Oh. Do it one more time, I guess. And that's it. Begin our training. And then it's going to be somebody's birthday too. So we're probably going to have to have a tea party. Oh yeah. For Leone for sure. Um, it's nice to be do you nice. like apples? Thanks. Because <laughs> that's all my shit's two star. I mean, it, 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 it's tea, so... Yeah. Tell me about yourself, the ideal monastery mrs. Uh, tell me about yourself. There you go. Nice. Yeah. What's next? I heard some gossip. Fodlin's future. Relaxing at the sauna? Ah, no. uh, it was probably Fodlin's future. I just wasn't sure if she wanted to go serious all the time. Gerald, for sure. She has a weird obsession. Thanks for the... Of course. Happy birthday, Leonie. In the middle of a war. That must suck, actually. But it is what it is. It is what it is. There. Nice. Anybody learn anything? Nope. Um. Let's see. Oh, we already did the marketplace. So for certifications. Since you've already learned all of your shit. What are your chances right now of getting Dark Knight? Zero. Holy Knight, zero. Cool. What about Marianne? <laughs> Do you have a chance in hell? She does have a chance in hell. Nice. A 31% chance in hell. Um, well, I think I'd rather make her a white knight if I got a chance. But this is quite the gamble. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That's for Raphael getting it, not ever, for 10,000 times. Nice. So now she's on a horse, too. That's, that's badass, actually. Um, let's just rest. Just because it's easy. <laughs> not even going to lie to you. It's just because we're crunching on time. 
All right, for more instructing, honestly, just auto instruct this time. I don't even care. First time I'll ever do that. But let it be known, we did it. All right, and then we shall begin training. I cannot believe that Marianne just got that. 31% chance and that hoe got it. Good for her. Good for her, honestly. All right, guys, I'm going to be real with you. We're, we're at the day right before the mission, right? And I'm feeling pretty set up. We got some good class changes that I wanted to happen. Oh, Lysithia, you're bee on horses now. Nice. That's good progress. We're pretty much there. We're where we want to be for the most part. So in the next episode, we will be going on to the next mission. And just kind of going from there and hoping for the best. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Make sure to smash that like button for me to show your support for the series. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!